Yeah, and then he just slapped that guy across his face for hitting on his girl. Man, somebody hit on my girl, I'd slap him across the face too. Yeah, but dude, there's a difference between someone hitting on your girl and just rubbing up on your girl. Yeah, because hitting on your girl wouldn't actually violate the non-aggression principle, but, you know, touching her and rubbing up on her, I mean, that would be a violation of the non-aggression principle, I think. I know, but what just gets me is the lack of respect. But, you're right. I mean, maybe I should step back before I make that initial reaction. It's good to take a step back, breathe, meditate, think things out logically, and then react. Yeah, and technically the message of freedom and the message of liberty is that, you know, everybody has a right to their opinion, and really, I mean, he's just telling you the opinion that he finds your girl really hot. <laughs> I mean, I guess you're right, other than the lack of respect issue. Just the power to carry on the message of liberty throughout our daily lives. Yeah, because, I mean, that, that really is the goal moving forward, is to be able to carry on that message of liberty and freedom to everybody. <laughs> Stegosaurus wins. Yeah, I mean, because ultimately, I guess, you know, we're trying to carry the message on forward, and we got to be able to have the power to do that. So we're going to have to use logic, meditation, the non-aggression principle, and the message of freedom. It's hard to take a step back from a situation and think of things logically because we have to use the message of liberty to improve our interactions with other human beings. Step 11. We sought through logic and meditation to improve our conscious contact with other human beings. As we understand them, seeking only knowledge and wisdom through the non-aggression principle and message of freedom and the power to carry out that message. You know, seriously, statism still sucks ass.